Hello everyone, I'm James, a technology support engineer from KiloVisual. Today, I will introduce to you a new member of a KiloVisual family, KiloVisual Server 3. It can centrally manage all KiloVisual critical devices, including devices states monitoring, remote control, firmware management, and upgrades. All this is done based on web browsers, so it is very easy to use it. Next, I will show you how to use KiloVisual Server 3. After we deploy the KiloLink Server 3 to the Docker of Linux, we can open the service on the web page. The default username for logging into the device is admin, and the password is KiloVisual001. On the left side of the interface is the function navigation bar. The system has three main functions, device management, user management, and firmware management. User management. Before using the system, we must confirm which user needs to use the system. We can use user management to create an icon for these users. Different users have uh, different promotions. We also need to assign promotions to different users. We group users and uh, assign promotions by group. It is more convenient for us to manage and maintain user by classification. Device management. Device management is the main function of our system, which can realize the unified management of a KiloVisual encoder, decoder, and uh, NDI devices. As the centralized control of these devices and software systems, KiloVisual server will create a connection terminal from server to device so as to enable the start of the device in a safe and reliable way and pressing it to the user and the user setting and control transmission to remote devices and stream video and audio over Kilink circular terminal no matter where your devices are, as long as they can connect to the Kilink server. Dictionary management. A brief introduction to adding dictionary, moving dictionary, and renaming dictionaries. Access control. As narration is required to operate the dictionary or the device under the dictionary, the acceleration of the device management is analyzed through the access control of the device management dictionary. For different devices, the information that the user pay attention to is also different. So we divided the devices into the three categories encoder, decoder, and I.O. Sparingly managed the encoder, decoder, and the NDI codigo. Encoder management, we can review the currently online starter of the encoder streaming service working studies video information audio information encoding information it is also convenient for user to control the start or stop of streaming service anytime anywhere access control for a single device, we can also set promotions and the aiding promotions set 
separately on the device Odin allowed the device to be renamed. The reviewing promotion can Odin review the start of the device and cannot perform other operations. Decoder management. Unify management of all decoders. The decoder management interface displays the encoders online started. Decoding started. Network started and other information. NDI codeco management of all NDI serial devices. The management page displays the currently devices online status. Device information, codeco information, decoding information, network studies, and other information. We also prove devices mountains the model, which can perform based on one click restart, one click reset, and a firmware upgrade operation for all devices, all devices of the same model. Mountains personally do not need to operate on a piece of equipment, which greatly improves the work and frequency of equipment maintenance personally. And equipment management become more timely server and level saving and worry free. Add devices. Click add devices. Enter the device's name and series number and generally a serialization code in the system. One click restart. The slant devices can be restarted with one click. One click reset. One click reset will reset the video encoding service and streaming service in generally when the device is working nominally, but the encoding or streaming service needs to be restarted for necessary reason, such as modifying some uh, parameters. Firmware upgrade. Select the device's model to be upgraded. The button firmware upgrade will appear at the top of the page. Select the devices to be upgraded. Click the firmware upgrade. The firmware will be dispersed to the devices. The dispersion is complete. The devices need to be reburned to complete the firmware upgrade. Next. Let's simulate an actual case to demonstrate how to use Killing Server Free. For example, in a scenario of a TV station, there are multiple studio groups, and the equipment of each studio group needs to be classified and managed. How should we do it? Step 1 Create a device management folder. First, create a folder for each studio group we could afford for studio group one to manage the equipment under the studio group step two create user create a user join to manage the devices under this group Step 3. Create user group isolation. Assign join to this group. To manage the devices under this group. Step 4. 
log into the join icon to operate. So it can create a new photo and move, delete devices. This is the introduction of a killer view server free. Thank you for watching. If you have any question about the KiloVisu Silver Free, you can contact our technology support team. Thank you.